Our presentation is over the yellow fever virus by Fred Bachman, Crystal Horvath, Haley Sauter, and Mike Egan. You can tell which ones are boys and which ones are girls because the girls have long curly hair. Thanks for joining us today. We are going to take a trip to Africa with pharmacists Haley and Krista as they embark on a journey to help provide aid. As they are preparing to leave 10 days before, Haley receives her vaccination at the vaccination travel clinic. Haley receives her international certificate of vaccination or prophylaxis, ICVP. Krista is afraid of needles and is willing to take her chances. We'll see how that plays out. In Africa, Krista and Haley treat patients that live near swampy areas. After spending time outdoors treating the African patient, Krista and Haley both tend to notice an alarming amount of mosquito bites all over their bodies on the final days of the trip. At the end of the trip, Krista and Haley fly back and return home to America. After around three to six days, Krista begins to feel under the weather. Krista feels a multitude of symptoms, and she has a sudden onset of a high fever, chills, a severe headache, back pain, general body aches, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and weakness. And feels generally unaffected. Haley's symptoms only include itchy spots on her skin from the mosquito bites. After what seems like forever, Krista thinks she has finally overcame what has been plaguing her. She relaxes and enjoys her days of rest without feeling sick. The day after Krista began to feel better, Krista and Haley are together once again. Haley notices that the whites of her eyes have turned yellow and Krista begins to feel the severe pain come back. Krista decides to see a doctor at the onset of these harsh symptoms. Krista makes an appointment with Dr. Brett and begins telling him about her symptoms. Dr. Brett asks her if she has been out of the country lately, more specifically to Africa or regions of South America within the last two weeks. She says yes and informs Dr. Brett that she just got back from Africa the other day. Dr. Brett then asks her if she received the vaccine for yellow fever before she left for Africa. Krista is sad to admit that she had not received the vaccine. At the lab, lab tester Michael confirms yellow fever and begins talking about what's under the microscope. Yellow fever is under the genus species Flavivirus and is composed of a single-stranded RNA with a polyhedral capsid shape and its envelope is positive. He explains that yellow fever has two reservoirs, including monkeys and humans, that can track the virus through mosquitoes of the Aedes and Haemogagus type, so the disease is vector-borne. Aedes and Haemogagus are found in three different locations, sylvatic, which is jungle, intermediate, which is savanna, and urban. and entered Krista's body via the parental route from the bite of a mosquito in Africa. The virus then attached to her leukocytes, platelets, and endothelium. The pathogen avoids Krista's circulating antibodies and cells of the immune system. Her body is now under immunosuppression, which in turn infects and destroys her leukocytes. Direct damage is caused by cell lysis. Damage to her liver cells caused jaundice that made the whites of her eyes the yellow color for which the disease is so named. Destruction of her platelets caused hemorrhagic manifestations, especially in her GI tract. Destruction of the endothelium caused her to lose fluid and go into shock. The pathogen could potentially cross her blood-brain barrier to cause encephalitis symptoms. She had a fever and flu-like symptoms that were caused by the release of cytokines.
Krista can't transfer yellow fever directly. However, it can be transferred indirectly from her through another mosquito. Once the test results are back, Dr. Brett pays Krista a visit. He tells Krista he has good and bad news to tell her. The bad news is that she will have some limitations, but the good news is that it looks as if she'll survive the illness. Yellow fever has an alarming 5-50% to 50 mortality rate. He also explains that there is no antiviral medication available, however the disease can be managed. Krista is to use blood products for severe bleeding and to use acetaminophen if needed instead of ibuprofen or aspirin, which could make the patient more prone to bleeding. Primary support of hospitalized care is available to provide fluids, oxygen, dialysis for kidney failure, maintain adequate blood pressure and replace blood loss, and treat all other infections that have developed. To improve clotting, plasma transfusions are sometimes done and Krista should stay inside and avoid areas prone to have yellow fever, such as South America and Africa, to prevent further mosquito bites causing the transmittance once again. To prevent this disease, you should get the vaccine. Other precautions include covering up your skin and using bug repellent with DEET and also using mosquito nets when in areas that need them. It's not all bad. Maybe this diet Dr. Pepper will cheer you up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Get vaccinated or you will get yellow fever and And thank you to our sponsors and, of course, Diet Dr. Pepper.